Welcome back to another Allen's Inventions video. In this one, I'm gonna show you how to install an LED bar like that one onto a Cybertruck. Let's go. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is come over here to this passenger side, little door up on the roof and remove this cover. I'm removing it because I'm going to make this a permanent install. So I'm not gonna be riding around with the quick releases on it. And you literally just push it to one side and it should pop right out. There we go. See, that comes right out. It has these little grooves on there. Set that off to the side. Next up, you wanna pull out this wire here. That's gonna be the power feed for the 48 volts that's controllable through the screen uh, mod setting. So we're gonna peel this back enough so that we can solder our adapter. These are the ones that we need, red and black. All right, let's strip these back. You only need about a quarter of an inch, so go ahead and cut that one. And then cut that one. I'm not sure what gauge they are, but I'll start with the larger one and work my way down. There's that one. And there's that one. Then it was time to solder the breakout cables. And of course, I wasn't gonna miss an opportunity to use one of the outlets on my truck. So I'll actually be using the cyber truck to power my soldering iron while I get all this done. Then it was time to just apply a little heat so that the heat shrink would seal. See how it's not on? Magic. Now that one of the harder parts is done, I'd say, it's time to go back to the LED bar. We're gonna leave this like this for now. Next up was time to install the bumpers on the brackets. So you use the longest nuts that came with the kit. So you have to do two for both sides. Just get those on there like that. And then this one just threads in through the bracket. You don't have to push it all the way through because you will be adjusting these later on when it's mounted on the truck. Just give yourself enough room to put the rubber bumper on there and then do the other side. Next up was time to install those brackets that you see right there onto each side of the LED bar. And to do that, you just take these bolts that came with your kit, slides in through the bracket, and then you just twist it in all the way right here. You don't have to tighten it all the way as this is going to be your adjustment also for your LED bar. But just enough to hold while you're installing it. And then you do the same thing for the other side. After your brackets are installed and it's nice and fixed, it's time to install the LED bar on top of the truck. This helps if you have two people. One thing I did forget to mention is the short bracket that gets installed. There's one on each side and it is directional. You just install this one bolt here and you gotta make sure these two slide over. If they don't, you might have to loosen this guy up to give you a little bit more wiggle room. Then after that, it was just time to tighten this one that is basically the bumper that sits on the window, as you can see there. This is the part that I saw in other videos I didn't like. This just kind of hangs like that, and it's really hard to cable manage up here. So make sure to subscribe if you want to see how I resolve that later on. I'll probably 3D print a cover or something, because that's just wide open on both sides. And then for the best part of all this, 